Poet Technologies is coming off one of its most successful conferences in company history. The ECOC event in Basel, Switzerland featured multiple speakers from Poet and some notable enthusiasm from attendees for what the company has to offer. Among the representatives at ECOC was Poet's Vice President of Product Line Management, Raju Kankapati. Raju, wonderful to see you again. Switzerland produced some good news, I hear. Hi, Adrian. Thanks for the introduction. Yes, ECOC was a very successful show for us. It was amazing to see a lot of attendance and the overall enthusiasm in the optics industry was quite visible at the show. So we had uh, more than a dozen meetings with industry leaders, including representatives from some of the biggest semiconductor companies in the world. And in many cases, they were wowed at what they saw from the optical interposer, the capabilities, the solutions that we built from it. We are already following up with most of these customers to either send them samples or to have a potential discussion about collaboration on custom designs. That, that's that's a great report and uh, sounds like uh, so much to look forward to from those meetings. Uh, you can't name names, of course, but maybe you can provide us with some of the specific feedback you heard during your meetings that made uh, made you most pleased. Sure. So, I mean, our primary customers, right, we can segment them into two categories. One is the cloud data centers and artificial intelligence slash machine learning uh, type of applications. We provide unique value proposition to both of these markets. For data centers, I mean, customers are amazed at the size of our solution. For 800 gig, 1.60 transceivers, we provide some of the most compact solutions that simplifies the board design and naturally provides cost and power consumption benefits. For AI and ML markets, customers are showing tremendous interest due to the superior light coupling efficiency on our light engines. And we can actually integrate passive elements like multiplexers, demultiplexers, splitters, combiners, all on the same, pl same platform, which avoids expensive active alignments. I think that's what is most capturing customers' attention. Yeah, it's, it speaks to the, the beauty and the, again, the elegance of uh, what Poet has achieved. Now, what happens next after the samples have been evaluated and the client is satisfied with the work Poet has done for them? Is there any qualification process or intermediary step before a purchase order might be made? Good question. Uh, so the typical sales cycle in the optics industry can be anywhere from nine months to 18 months. So after customers are happy with the performance of our solutions, they will, they will usually go through an industry standard qualification process of the system with our uh, solution in it. So after completing that reliability testing, the end customer of our solution will usually run a pilot test to verify the system level performance. And then we go into full production after that. That yeah, Wonderful. We, we currently have customers in various positions along the sales cycle. How far along are we with those clients that you've been working with, you know, even prior to ECOC? Yes, I mean, we are already in advanced stages with a few of our long-term customers, and uh, we are nearing full production for our 100 gig and 200 gig engines. Then in 2023, we anticipate a number of other projects reaching that purchase order stage. That's great. You're, you're going to be a busy guy. Uh, what, what's your role in that process of customer engagement? So my role uh, starts with identifying customer opportunities uh, and requirements for the POET products and solutions. So once uh, a customer or an industry opportunity is identified, so I typically give the product definition to the engineering team, like what they should be designing uh, and the specifications. So when we're ready with samples, my team works with customers to test and qualify our products. I also take care of providing pricing to customers and work with them on their forecast so that we can plan our production accordingly. So once I'm mean, coming to the pricing and cost, right? Once customers understand our products and solutions, they clearly see the cost benefit that, that our solution can offer. Not just bomb cost, right? But also significant cost reductions when it comes to assembly and testing and CapEx reductions, because most of it is already done on the platform. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, wonderful. Now, what can you tell us about how the industry feels about the 800G solution that Poet is focused on delivering in 2023 into 2024? So 800 gig is a major milestone for the optics industry. And the fact that Poet is so close to getting there is definitely a cause for excitement. So the challenges with traditional architecture, right, for 800 gig and 1.60 pluggable transceivers is the size and power consumption. The real estate available inside the module and the power envelope does not grow as much, but the data rate is doubling or quadrupling. Mm -hmm. 
So how do we take all these discrete components and cram it inside the small package? That is where we see a lot of customers excited about our solutions for 800 gig and 1.6 tera. The small size gets people's attention. And so does the fact that we have the other solutions already going to production, right? 100 gig, 200 gig, and 400 gig. So they can architect the solutions, the systems now with our existing products and be prepared for when that 800 gig solution is ready to be deployed. Great. And, and you know, you, you, we speak about the small size. We always kind of speak about the small size of the uh, uh, of the optical interposer uh, in the company, and and that being such a key to uh, getting a, a larger part, portion of the market share. Could you provide a little more detail on what people's reactions are when they see <laughs> see this little thing and, and doing all the, all the amazing uh, capabilities that it can accomplish? Sure. I mean, the industry for a long time, right? They've been using these discrete components to build modules. So after a certain point, it just doesn't scale, right? One has to see what the optical interposer achieves in such a small size to believe. And the small form factor allows a lot more opportunities for engineers to create solutions they have struggled with before. It just dramatically simplifies the overall design of the uh, the modules. And you know, I think I know uh, might know the answer to this, but uh, you've been with the company now for about nine months. How are you feeling about the things and the potential for success? See, I mean, I've been in this industry for a long time, and uh, this technology is truly a game changer. I mean, the challenge with optics going forward will be all about packaging with these high speeds, right? So we're providing the perfect platform to bring the best of breed material systems together for a cost and power efficient solution. But most of all, I mean, I'm delighted to be working with a very knowledgeable and hardworking team. I mean, I've never been so excited before. So this, <laughs> this technology will be a game changer. And I can, I think we can all feel your excitement uh, coming through the screen here. Uh, you know, thanks so much, uh, Raju. I think you and everyone associated with the company can't wait for the world to feel the same level of excitement that uh, you are right now. So thanks again for your Thank hard you. work, and uh, and uh, again, great to connect again. Thank you.